You're listening to Devil in the Detail and this is your Big Match Review. Right, well after uh, the trials and tribulations in, on the motorway and road to get here uh, via Home Firth and Huddersfield and Denbydale and wherever else we've been in the car on the way here, finally arrived at the KC Stadium and I've got Salford's uh, team lineup for you. Salford start with Gareth O'Brien, Justin Carney, Junior Sal, Chris Wellham, Greg Johnson, Robert Lewis, Michael Dobson, Lee Mossop, Logan Tompkins, Lyle Matazza, Ben Murdoch Masilla, Josh Jones and Mike Flanagan. On the bench for Salford is Craig Copjack, George Griffin, Adam Wall and Todd Carney. Whole lineup with Jamie Shaw, Steve Michaels, Mena. Fanua, Josh Griffin, Fetula Talanoa, Jake Connor, Mark Sneed, uh, there's no Albert Kelly, Josh Bowden, Danny Washbrook, Liam Watts, Sika Manu and Mark Minicello, Jordan Thompson's a loose forward. On the bench for Hull is Chris Green, Jason Turgut, Brad Fash and Jez Litton. So there's quite a few players out there for, for Hull. We've got about half an hour to go to kick off here. Can Salford make it four wins from four? We shall see. <laughs> Right, well it's half time here at the uh, the KC Stadium and it's going to take me a while to get through through me the half time actually thought I've got a, a big smile tonight. Uh, Salford are leading at half time by 34 points to 8, it's been an absolutely tremendous first half. But Hull FC came out on the blocks and they scored an early try, Steve Michaels went over after a kick out wide from Mark Sneed and, and Salford looked a bit a bit flat there in the early stages, you know, 5 minutes there, 6-0 to Hull. A couple of minutes later Mark Sneed took advantage again and kicked a penalty goal to put them Hull in front by, uh, by 8 points to 0. After that it's all been one way traffic for Salford, Rob Lewis responded on 12 minutes with a good try, uh, stepping through to score. And uh, not long after that, Greg Johnson went over to put Salford in front at 10 points to 8. Uh, Craig Kopjack came on, lovely short ball from, uh, from Logan Tompkins. And Kopjack went crashing over under the post uh, to follow on from his try against St. Helens last week. Uh, Dobson added a goal to that to give Salford a 16 points to 8 lead. Uh, just a bit, a bit longer after that, Craig Kopjack was over again, stumbling his way over the line. Uh, to, to score, to put Salford in front at 22 points to 8 and Salford, Salford looked unstoppable every time they had the ball they looked like they was going to score um, I've had to write quite a lot of notes tonight to keep up with everything and after that Junior Sal uh, powered over to put us into a 26 points to 8 lead Greg Johnson also scored in the corner, lovely pass this was a back to back try uh, uh, from a pass from Chris Wellham um, 
Oh, Dobson missed the goal, so that made the, the score 30 points to 8. Okay. Well, at half time, Robert Louis put a really punishing kick in uh, down the side and uh, to, to pen Hull back. But Salford's enthusiasm was tremendous, you know, forming the scrub. Um, you know, really quick to you know, get the, the clock stopped. And Hull FC came up with a mistake as well. I think we're on this uh, on this near side, and Salford came up with the, with the ball there. Greg Johnson ran in field, really lazy run from Johnson. He got got trapped, and the ball went out wide. Morgan Tompkins has thrown out an absolute wonder pass. The ball's gone out wide from Junior South, and Junior South's put Justin Carney in over in the corner, and you know Salford supporters over there. There's quite a lot of them as well. Have gone absolutely wild. Unbelievable scenes here at uh, the KC Stadium. Really quiet, quiet in this crowd now. There's quite a few old supporters. I think have headed for the exits already, but it's half time here at the KC Stadium. It's, it's like a dream miss it's half time a long way to go yet though you know being a solid support we, we, we know about comebacks and things like that so we're not we're going to be a bit cautious but fantastic first half display from me and watson's boys it's half time here at the kc stadium it's full fc eight solve for 34. <laughs> Quite a second half here as well at the KC Stadium. Salford leading by 34 points to eight at half time. Had to weather the inevitable storm in the second half, which Hull FC were going to throw. You know, quality side with some good players, and they did come back at us. They did uh, throw a bit at us in that second half as well. You know, they started it. You know, Junior Sal got brushed off by, by the Hull players, and they charged through. And uh, with a good tackle from Gareth O'Brien and just a kind tackle into touch, but that delayed the inevitable. Uh, Jamie Shaw going off a really flat pass, looked a bit forward from here in the stand, but Jamie Shaw getting Hull back into the game, well, not back into the game, but on the board at 34 14. Uh, then a perfect kick from Sneed out wide, which Michael's pocketed, he went over, and that brought the scores back to 34 points to 18. That's as good as it got over Hull. There was a bit of a storm there, but Salford the weathered it, they kept, they kept tackling, and then. Uh, one of the points, the turning points we thought was going to be in the second half, Justin Carney was sinned when Salford had the ball for throwing a punch, it was a bit silly really, that could have been crucial, but it wasn't. Michael Dobson went over for a, for a single try, darting under the post on a lovely short ball to put Salford's 40 points on the board at 40 points to 18. Then a kick, uh, kick for goal after uh, Jamie Shaw was sinned in for a professional crowd, another thrilling break from Salford, they made, made breaks at will tonight, tremendous play there. And uh, Salford kicked the penalty goal there just to add insult to injury, really edge him a bit further in front at 42 points to 18. And George Griffin shot through a gap, he could have got a bus through that gap. George Griffin went through, charging over the line, and uh, Gareth O'Brien kicked the goal from that one to make the scores 48 points to 18. Ben Murray at Masilla has got the 50 up for Salford though, charging through right in front of where the Salford supporters were, were sat, sort of making up for that 80 point drubbing we had here about sort of. Uh, Ten years or so ago, and it was a great, a great score that for Ben Murdoch was to get Salford's 50 on the board. So it's finished here, 54 points to 18. Salford have made it four wins on the spin. I make that about 20 years since we won four games on the spin in the top flight since about 1997, I think. You were proud of this Salford side tonight, though. You know, Hull and CFC had a few players out, but Salford were tremendous, tremendous with the ball, and had to do a lot of defending as well. It's finished here, Hull FC 18, Salford 54. Leader the visitors on Good Friday. Can't wait for that one. Devil in the Detail and this is your Big Match Review. 